if you were like me and was not a fan of that first Godzilla film, whew, I'm gonna tell you this, Godzilla King of Monsters definitely makes up for it. What's going on everyone? My name is Zach and welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing Godzilla King of Monsters. And if you guys are new here, of course make sure to hit that like and subscribe button where you guys can get tons of early movie reviews like this and other geeky content. Plus you guys can also go over to Sandwich on Films on how to see films early. Godzilla King of Monsters was a film that I was kind of skeptical on due to the fact that, again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Godzilla film. I thought that it was good decent and it definitely that last third act was great but i found the film to kind of be lacking and kind of a little bit boring i did like the grounding take and i thought it was a little bit ballsy to take it in that direction it was cool it was cool i won't i won't go and say it was one of the worst films ever but i was sorely disappointed by it cause sky island that was fun definitely fun but still lacked in that department of really wanting to care about even kong and in general the characters within it that's where i think godzilla king of monsters melds both perfectly this is a film that really dives straight down the middle and kind of combines and has a perfect balance between the human characters and the monster characters while also making you care about what's at stake it makes you care about godzilla it makes you care about mothra and in fact it even goes in parallels over to the human characters that you do end up caring for some of them i know some people will actually be complaining about those human characters saying well their plot lines and their subplots were a little bit silly and honestly kind of predictable and in fact one-dimensional some are I'm not going to say they're all perfect, and I will talk about them in my nitpicks towards the end of this review, but from what they did for the central characters, I was on board, and I liked their story. Yes, is it the same thing that we've seen multiple times before? Absolutely. But the reason you go to see Godzilla King of Monsters is for destruction, the ferociousness, and of course the horrifying elements of it with all the destruction and elements of those battle sequences. That is why you definitely go to see one of these films and Godzilla King of Monsters, that is what this film is. The trailer sells you on exactly what this movie is going to be. It is, I, I'm going to say this, I, I think it's the best Godzilla film I ever created. Honestly, best Godzilla film I've created. The thing is, I'm I'm not that close to the source material. I grew up with some of the VHS and DVDs of Godzilla and other monsters fighting, but when you look at this film from obviously a technical standpoint, it's the best. And also, when you look at it from a story standpoint, I think this film got it all right. While also... Obviously, we know Kong vs. Godzilla is coming out next year, directed by Adam Wingard. I can't wait to see that as well, especially after this. Like, this film makes me excited to go see that film, and I'm definitely going to be there opening day. But the thing with that film and this one and the parallels that it kind of has is, even though we know we're getting that sequel, this film does such a good job of layering out and dropping small seeds for what that story could definitely be, while not bouncing you over the head that, yay, this is a monster verse. Yes, there's tons of different monsters. It does drop those hints and those subtle Easter eggs, but really focuses on what this story is going to be, and not really diluting into other sort of elements that could easily be the issue with a lot of sequels where they're like, okay, you gotta remember, like, this sequel's coming out next year. No, they really focused on. On this story. I think that's what Mike Daughtry did such a fantastic job in. Now, I've always been a big fan of him. I think he's such a creative and unique director, and he always has a great vision when it comes to any of his films, and I think that's something I can definitely agree. Even if I haven't particularly loved all of his films, I think that's something that he's very strong in, and I think he was a perfect choice for Godzilla. Again, I really said the word horrifying. A lot of elements, a lot of visuals in here are horrifying. The details on the creatures are all from a standpoint of what a creative vision is within this film, and the passion that spews out of this whole entire movie is on every level excellent. There are some elements in here where I'm just, my me and my friend's jaw dropped, like how did you pull that off? Some of the action sequences in here are great. Some epic wide shots in here, some excellent cinematography. I mean, the tr trailer really didn't show all the great scenes. There are some jaw-dropping visuals in here that I would literally take down every poster in my office and throw them all up of just Godzilla King of Monsters because this cinematography is... I want to say it's probably the best of the year. Even going more into those shots and the visual effects, the action scenes, again, are ferocious. They're terrifying, and they shake the screen. I saw this in IMAX, and you definitely want to make sure to see it in the biggest theater and the biggest screen possible because my jaw, again, was just on the floor 
multiple times. Even then jumping to the human characters who are the ones that really progress the story, and again, some of their elements are a little silly. I think one of the villain characters in here played by Tywin Lannister himself, even though he has a very menacing voice, I didn't really care for him at all. I thought he was kind of very one-dimensional out of every single character in here. He is the most one-dimensional, and I think some people will find his elements a little bit silly and cartoony, and I get it, like it's weird talking about a Godzilla film and saying cartoony. Even though I'm mentioning the cartoony aspect, sometimes that's a little bit too much. I personally really like the main cast in here. I think Kyle Chandler does an excellent job. I think Millie Bobby Brown is superb in here. And even Vera Farmiga. I think their family element is kind of the crux of the whole story for the human characters and that whole dynamic. Yeah, some of the one-liners are a little bit annoying. Sometimes the lines are a little bit cheesy. But what do you expect? It's a Godzilla film. You go to this film to see the monsters killing each other. And there are also something I I want to mention within the human aspect i really like the mythology that they built up with all the different monsters the explanations between some of them and who they are and how they came to be and where they're from i think that was a very unique aspect that i was not expecting for them to dive in and if you guys have ever followed my channel you guys know i'm a big fan of world building and mythology building it goes again to being one of the strongest parts of the humans in this story i thought the first one lacked on all that and this one really times 10 folded onto that and again dropped subtle easter eggs that it weren't over the head bonking you on your head no they were subtly there to set up stuff for down the road but also just containing a story within this godzilla king of monsters is definitely everything i wanted it to be even though some of the human elements can be a little bit silly and cartoony I, I got exactly what I wanted this film to be. It's ferocious, it's haunting, it's terrifying, and it's horrifying. And Daughtry's vision for this whole entire film was excellent. You can definitely see the passion coming off the screen, and a tons of the elements within this film are excellent. And multiple times my jaw was on the floor. <clears throat> If you're a Godzilla fan, I can't see you walking out of this disappointed. If you weren't a big fan of the original Godzilla from a couple years back, I think this is definitely the film for you. They fixed every issue I had with that film and perfectly balanced both storylines to where it didn't feel forced for either one and there was enough of each character in each storyline. Really made me care about Mothra and Godzilla. I was not expecting that and I'm so looking forward to what they do more within this monster verse. They really have a tightly knitted hand on this whole universe now and I think they know exactly what it is so with all that said i'm gonna give godzilla king of monsters a b plus let me know what you guys thoughts are on this film are you guys excited for it are you not were you disappointed by the other godzilla and king kong films or were you guys excited to have those in here i'm curious to hear your guys thoughts on that let's talk about it down below in the comments and of course you guys are new here hit that like and subscribe button again i do early movie reviews geeky content and tons of other giveaways over on this channel us do not forget to go over to sandwich on films because over there we do give out advanced movie screens we're giving out for some for godzilla and you guys missed out but we'll have more down the road for other summer films so definitely check that out thank you guys again so much for watching and of course, long live the king.